field is ventilating her with a mask and she has adequate anesthesia. We, she has muscle relaxant on board and we're going to put in the LMA now. It's an LMA-5, the largest size. Looks like it's seating well. Put in 40 cc's of air. We're going to check for our leak. About 40. Um, okay. After ensuring adequate depth of anesthesia, Black line is towards the patient's eyes, forehead. You often feel a catch at the vocal cords. Feel a catch or Yeah. Okay. All right. position there. Okay. I'm gonna hook up and turn on the desk. Okay, I've inflated the endotracheal tube cuff, deflated the rhinangeal mass cuff. She seems to be ventilating adequately. We've got entital CO2. Stethoscope? Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Um, we can confirm that there are bilateral breath sounds. There are bilateral. The and the tracheal tube connector out. Be careful not to lose it. Stabilize the rod. You want the curve going that way if you can get it. I know it's hard. There you go. You're getting it. There you go. You're almost there. If you can't get it, it's okay. The main thing is that the tube will not come out, that you keep pushing it. There you go. You got it. Okay. So Dr. Mayfield is going to advance the stabilizer rod while he, or actually hold it in place while he removes the LMA component. Keep pushing this in because otherwise we... Okay. Then Dr. Mayfield will reach around, grab the end of the endotracheal tube, remove the stabilizer rod. Pull the fast track cuff out. Reconnect. What's our uh, distance there, Scott? Can you turn the desk back on? I'm sorry, what? All right, let's pull back just uh, a centimeter. Equal breast sounds bilaterally. So we'll 